Can we move forwards, please, to the 24th of July, the next meeting, the second hub meeting? The reference for that is poll 308 3933. Thank you. So we can see um, similar format, regular call re-horizon issues meeting on the 24th of July. And we can see that, um, that you're not recorded as being present. But from security, there's Mr. King again and um, Andrew Wise. Who was Andrew Wise? Uh, security manager within the uh, security operations team investigator. Again, we can see that um, Mr. King um, starts the meeting off. And again, um, was it your understanding that he was essentially um, chairing the meeting? Yes. Jan Singh there as well, so interesting. I don't think he was listed as there at the first one. And was he reporting back to you what was happening at each meeting? Uh, from the email exchange with Susan Crichton, it says he was being, I was being, being debriefed. You were being briefed about it? Yes. Again, in the second paragraph there, Mr King um, is recorded as saying, uh, no minutes circulated, but we will be taking notes. In scope were issues and problems the group were made aware of. Um, so that's um, materially the same as the warning given at the beginning of the first meeting, yes? Yes. And again, does that reflect the instruction that you gave to Mr King, passing on what Susan Crichton had uh, told you to tell the meeting? Yes. Can we move forward to the 31st of July, please? At poll 2013-9732. Uh, so this is the date of the third hub meeting on the 31st of July uh, 2013. Uh, we can see that, again, you're not recorded as being present or joining the call. It's Mr um, King and uh, Mr Posnett representing the security department. And um, Mr Posnett um, is uh, opening the meeting. Uh, does that mean by this time Mr Posnett had been put in charge of chairing the meeting? No, it would be Rob King. He re um, remained the um, chair or the leader of the meeting, is that right, to your knowledge? Uh, until mid-August. When you took over? Yes. And again, you're not in attendance. I don't think there's the warning at the beginning there. Can we move forwards, please, to the 31st of July 2013? That's poll 2013-9745. This is um, an attendance note dated the 1st of August 2013. Written, we understand it, by uh, Martin Smith, who is, whose name is in the top right-hand corner. Can you see that? Yes. In relation to a call that he had with you the day before, the 31st of July 2013. And can you see under detail, it says TC, which may be telephone call, JS, which, which um, I presume is you, at 6 p.m. on the 31st of July 2013 discussing disclosure issues. Uh, Jay Scott has um, instructed that type minutes be scrapped. Now, I guess there's two ways of interpreting that. You can scrap typed minutes, as in we're not going to do any from here on in, or I guess you could scrap type minutes of something previously, which would be getting rid of already existing typed minutes. One... You know, neither might be a great situation to be in, but one would certainly seem to be way more on the wrong side of things than saying, don't do this going forward. So it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say about this. First off, um, is that a call with you or is it a call with John L. Singh? I don't recall, but my belief would be it wasn't with me. Why is it your belief that it was not with you? Um, because I don't recall having a relationship like that with Cartwright King at that stage because it's very early on, but it's not to say um, I didn't have the call with him, but I don't believe it would have been me. And you'll see that the way that Mr Smith uh, wrote his attendance note is one person is referred to as JS. Can you see that in both the summary and in the detail? Yes. And the other person is referred to as Jay Scott. Yes. Or, let's assume for the moment that this is Mr um, Smith speaking to John L. Singh at 6pm on the 31st of July 2013 and was telling 
Mr. Smith uh, that you, Jay Scott, had instructed type minutes to be scrapped. Did you give an instruction that type minutes would be scrapped? I do not recall what I said or how I said it or in what clunky way. Or Did you say in what clunky way? Yeah, or how it was interpreted. Um, but I don't recall asking for any minutes to be scrapped. Scrapped is not a word I would particularly use to destroy or delete minutes. It's scrapped is more like a process. I mean, it's interesting there he goes to the destroy one of the options, get rid of previously done ones rather than scrap them going forward in terms of his explanation. I mean, if it is Jan Elsing on the call, it could be his interpretation and rewording of it, although we know from his testimony he did a lot of passing on almost pretty much verbatim what other people had said, so an interesting question for sure. Why scrap a process going forward? You said in that sentence, whatever clunky words you use, why would you assume that you spoke in a clunky way rather than in a clear way? I have no idea. But we I would not go around asking for things to be destroyed or deleted. That's just not me. We've seen that in the typewritten minutes of the meeting, mm -hmm. there was an instruction that um, minutes were not to be circulated, mm -hmm. but the, the security department were going to keep their own notes. That was the instruction that you had um, given, passing it on from Susan Crichton, yes? Yes. And so if uh, typewritten minutes were in fact being kept, as we've seen they were, that would be contrary to the instruction that you had given, wouldn't it? So I said that one again? Yeah. You told us, and it's reflected in that uh, two of the first three sets of minutes, that the instruction that you passed on from Susan Crichton was that um, minutes were not going to be circulated, but that the security department were going to keep their own notes. Correct. We've seen that typewritten minutes were in fact being kept. We've just looked at three lots of them, haven't we? Correct. That would be contrary to the instruction that you gave, wouldn't it? I'm a bit lost on the point. If the security department were going to keep their own notes... Yes. ..and somebody else had in fact been keeping a typewritten version <coughs> of what had happened at the meeting... Mm -hmm i.e. the three documents we've just looked at, mm -hmm. that would be contrary to the instruction that you had given, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, in principle, yes. The irony that the first thing logged in both in the first two sets of meeting minutes was that minutes shouldn't be kept, and therefore that was the first thing logged by the minute taker in the minute meeting minutes. Wow, lots of words beginning with M there. And therefore, if it was contrary to the instruction you had given, you would want it to be stopped, wouldn't you? Once they are there, they're there. I but might you would want, want it, it in the future, the process to be stopped in the future, but once the notes are there, they're there. And if you refer back to my email exchange, I was very clear in terms of that notes had been retained, had been made and had been retained and were available. So you would want um, typewritten notes not to be kept in the future because that was contrary to the instruction that you had given passing it on for Susan Crichton, is that right? Uh, in principle, that may have been the case looking at the documentation. That would be consistent with you telling Mr Singh to scrap typed minutes, wouldn't it? I.e. Uh, what's written here? Uh, I don't recall a conversation with Mr Singh. Um, I don't recall anything of that nature. I would, not, would, I would not go around asking for things to be destroyed or deleted. I'm not asking you at the moment about the destruction of anything. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you about the cessation, the stopping, the scrapping of <laughs> the creation of typewritten notes. It's interesting that his mind has gone all but one times to the destruction of already existing documentation rather than the scrapping of a process going forward. That I, I can't recall. Well, it would be consistent with the instruction that you had given, wouldn't it? 
yes. let's not keep typewritten notes yes. to be circulated amongst the wide readership. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yes. Instead, notes should be kept by the security department alone. I imagine other people would have written their own notes. Was that permitted or forbidden according to the direction that you passed on from Susan Crichton? No, it would be permitted. So what was forbidden then? Um, I can only go by the email exchange with Susan Crichton is to reduce the circulation of minutes. Uh, well, reducing the circulation would be different from them not being in existence at all. Was it that there shouldn't be an official copy of meeting minutes available and, you know, more kind of ad hoc notes were permissible, potentially less disclosable in reality? And what explanation did she give for the need to reduce the circulation of minutes? Uh, reduce the uh, risk of uh, being widely circulated and then being subject to freedom of information or disclosure, as per my email.